Tonight, the 19-year-old accused of murdering his teenage roommates is locked up in jail and a judge is not letting him out. When Damon Kemp was wheeled into the courtroom this morning for his bond hearing, he started screaming and the victim's families couldn't handle it. News 6's Jerry Askin is following the bizarre developments. Jerry, haven't seen anything like this in a while. Eric, yes, bizarre for sure, and I'll tell you, his reaction to his charges and to his bunch that is some say was pretty dramatic. Tonight, Damon Kemp is sitting behind bars in Volusia County on no bond. In court today, we saw tears all the way around from friends and family involved. There is no answer as to why or how. Narissa Carter had a front row seat today in court, grieving days after her 19-year-old son, Trey Ingram, was murdered. It got so tough at one point she had to walk out. <laughs> and like any mother who's forced to grieve, it hurts. Dads and moms need to hug their children. Because you might get a phone call like we did and you won't get a chance to hear their voice anymore. Meantime, back inside the courtroom, we watched as Damon Kemp was wheeled inside, screaming and calling on a higher power. God! 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 His facial expressions and his mood seemed off as a judge read his charges and his fate. I do believe that there is probable cause for the arrest. Kemp's family and friends in court today shed tears, all as Trey's family got pretty vocal, even having to be escorted out. <laughs> Deputies say Kemp was arrested Thursday after he was tied to an armed home invasion. Then deputies say they learned he murdered Trey Ingram and Trey's friend Jordan Payton. Trey's family say he was an up-and-coming boxer working to get back in school at BCU. He was helping the suspect get back on his feet by letting him stay with him rent-free, being the giver that Trey's mom said he's always been. Family told us the victims and the suspects all live together, and now it hurts. Tomorrow's never promised. That indeed, I tell you, deputies haven't yet released the motive behind the shooting. But right now, as Kemp is sitting behind bars, two families are planning funerals. Just a very sad story, Eric. Sad for sure. Jerry Askin, we'll see you again tonight at 11. Thank you.